Yeah, that matters. A little bit of truth. Some truth would help. Why do you have hatred to a monster show? That's trick. I don't trust like that, bro. Remove your hatred. Let's go, Garby. Let's go. Yo, why do you have the Aryan Guard amongst yourself? That's catch, bro. Yes. Why? Why? So you can psycho, so you can go after us? That's catch, bro. Yes. 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 We want a speech. We came for the speech. Thank you, thank you, Patriots. Is this loud enough? Do you want it louder? Uh, it's, uh, it's a little chilly, but you're going to be warm pretty soon. Our Patriots, are you going to be warm? We got some great speakers today. And... Uh, Again, this is about quality over quantity. That's we want quality today, right? So this event today is all about love for our people, love for our country. That's all about. <coughs> we got Antifa there. Uh, we welcome them. But this is about all Canadians. It's about our country, and that's the focus today. We're gonna we're gonna get right into the globalism agenda today. We're gonna be looking at that. So the big theme today is Canadian nationalism versus globalism. Globalism UN. So we're gonna we're gonna have help inform the Canadian public today on, on that issue. That's one of the most important issues we got to face. And, uh, you know, this today is about honesty, integrity, speaking the truth, not being politically correct, And we're gonna, I'm going to go today into Agenda 2030. Everyone needs to know about that agenda and what's going on and the impact from the global world order on us. And, and to start this off on the right note, I, bought this, I brought this today, everyone. What is this? This is a plunger. And you know, Canada's toilet is clogged. It's full of what's called the crony, the globalists, the corrupt, self-serving politicians are in there. And we got to plunge Canada's toilet, drain, drain it, clean out Ottawa, so this is what our plunger symbolizes. We need to become plumbers, all of us, and go to work this year, 2019. So remember that. We got to do a lot of draining. Canada needs a lot of draining to this year. But I want to talk about Yellow Bass Day, and uh, we hear people talking about saying it's not political and we say nonsense we say nonsense yellow vest is a hundred percent inherently political it has to be and it's open to any canadian anyone worldwide this is uh for for nca we're here because we're anti-globalists 
That's why we're here. We're here because we're anti-globalist. There's different factions in Yellow Vest. There's Antifa, there's globalists in it. Uh, no one owns it. No one owns it. So, uh, we're in solidarity with all patriots in Canada who are anti-globalist and patriots worldwide. No UN! 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 Love for our people. It's all about love. Love for our people. Love for the Antifa. We don't. We don't hate Antifa. Look at them there. They're they're Canadians like us. We want to unite with all Canadians. This is all about love for our people. Working together for our greater prosperity and security as a country. We're not afraid to dialogue with anyone. We're not afraid to dialogue. It's all about love for our people. And we may disagree on some issues, but that's okay. As long as we're civil and we let the facts guide us. We let the facts guide us. You're getting soft on them, I think. I'm gonna, I'm gonna invite our first, one of our First Nations friends up here. Because we love our First Nations. We love our First Nations. We love our First Nations. Thank you, thank you very much. We love our First Nations, we love our Inuit. We love our Métis for coast to coast. These beautiful people were here at the beginning and we work together to build this country we have and we can never forget that. Aboriginal people, First Nation, Inuit, Métis are integral to the Canadian identity, heritage, cultural norms, our values. And um, you know, the past isn't perfect but we're going together, united with our First Nations. We're united with our First Nations who we love today. And what's your name? Virginia, thank you for joining us. And uh, could you talk about the globalism and what's happening, please? Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming out. I just want to say, uh, I don't... I don't think the uh, average uh, person in Canada realizes what it's going to mean for us to have that many people coming here at once. Because where are they going to? What are they going to eat? Where are they going to sleep? And who's going to pay for them? Right? With all services, I'm telling you right now, all services will be height to the height. Any place you live, if you're not living in a, in a rich area. Those services will not be uh, extended to you. The police service will be heightened because they will go to the rich places first. And I'm telling you, if you don't make a certain average amount of money, that you're not gonna get those services. If somebody breaks in your house, rapes your children, you're not gonna get that service. This is a real fact. What do you think of this? That if you have um, a, a young woman at, a, at the age of nine, they will marry them off. They also believe that if there's enough turmoil, like those ones are doing right now, that their Mahdi will come to power. We know that, and we know that the Trudeau government is right falling for that line. We know that that line is extended throughout the global agenda to make us 
be under their rule and not have nothing. I'm telling you right now, these are facts. Go to Europe where they do not show what's actually happening in the streets when they come. There's dirt. There's there's um there's there's uh, litter all over the place. And I'm telling you right now, they are not for peace. Neither they know peace. So I'm telling you that if they're gonna come here, there's gonna be a standard against them to show what Canada is all about. Yes. Canada is for justice, peace, and equality. But I'm telling you right now that no, no um, Islam or nothing like no Sharia law is gonna be made. Uh, the 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 religion of the land. We were here. For we're here first, and I'm telling you, we help the Europeans, probably your ancestors over there, to live in this land, to be able to function in the winter time. And if we do not have that extended greeting to you, to, to, to them, perhaps some of you wouldn't be here. So I'm telling you right now that Canada is a sovereign nation, and we will. And I'm talking from a First Nations perspective, and this uh, this includes everybody. You want to have those goods and services, then you must vote no. This is all about Canadian sovereignty, our way of life, our children, their children, their future. And um, I praise everyone who's come out today on this this very warm, sunny day. <laughs> we got to do some draining, Canada. We all got to become plumbers. We got to start draining. Starting with Trudeau, of course. But uh, we got to start draining. We all got to take apprenticeship in plumbing. And I make sure we all become plumbers in 2019. But uh, there is hope today. The hope is with everyone here who's here. It's another warning cry. Just give me a second. Uh, we're going to go to uh, Ivanka. Ivanka. So I want to be very clear. Let's unite everyone. We don't need division. That's okay. Okay, it's good. See? See the division we face, right? We got Antifa there, we got these people over there dividing us. That's okay. But we love all Canadians. Remember that? We love all Canadians. We love our country. See you guys later. These people over here, they're Canadians at the end of the day. Let's rise above it, everyone. Let's help inform them. That's all we can do, right? So I want to bring up a subject. This is part of the transformation. I don't know if, if everyone here knows about it, but in Ontario, there's a party that's just about, that's gonna be officially registered. It's called the Islamic Party of Ontario. There's also the Islamic Party of Canada. And we're not against our Canadian Muslims. We support all Canadians. But what we stand against is Sharia political Islam. That has no place in Canada. And if you look at the Islamic Party of Ontario, it says that Islam, Allah, Muhammad, is the way of life of Canada, of Ontario. These people want to implement Sharia in Canada. Go look them up. That's, that's the transformation that we're facing. It's very scary, isn't it? So these people are coming here, and now they're trying to pose their way of life on us. 
This is how serious the issue is. I'm going to invite Ivanka up here. Thank you, Ivanka. Can I give you a hat?